Well, hello there, everybody, and uh, well, you are warmly welcome right here to Axel Cool Show. And uh, today, we, uh, I am actually gonna do a, a movie marathon, but this time not with my girlfriend. <laughs> this time alone, but uh, by myself. It's gonna be horror movies. As you may know, I am very, very uh, big fan of movies, but uh, I have not seen that many horror movies actually. Uh, so this is gonna be really fun. I will try to get through all the classics, just like Terror on Elm Street, Halloween, and and uh, and The Exorcist, and maybe Scream or something like this. We will see how many we get through tonight. <laughs> As you can see outside, it's really beautiful weather, but I'm not gonna let that disturb me. Uh, and as a Axel Horror Show bonus, uh, I will be watching every movie in a new location. As you can see, I'm wearing one of my scary Axel Cool Show t-shirts. Uh, they are not available yet, but maybe in the future you will be able to buy these at a store near you. The first movie is actually going to be Poltergeist, which is from 1982. And uh, this I'm going to see on, on actually on the the balcony right here so I have prepared a little little place here for me to sit and this is this is the film it looks pretty scary right here it's about some little girl it looks like and uh, she's watching TV I made this little movie tent now now in the balcony because I can see better on the TV it's a pretty scary movie Okay, short break in the movie because I think I'm gonna go and fetch a bear for myself. Here we go, just one little bear. There we go, now it's much more cozy in here. <laughs> I tried to build a better fort now, but I've spilled my bear, so I'm gonna fix this now. This is so typical of me. And Hopefully it didn't ruin the computer because there was some a little bit of bear on the computer also. But I was building this really cool fort and now... Oh, oh well. Why would anyone want a doll like that? Come on, that's, that's really scary. No child should have that. Yes. Who the hell is this? It's really strange. Strange new character right here, investigating. I think I know where I'm gonna spend my next movie. Maybe. Well, <sighs> that was the end of that movie. Whoa, it was pretty scary right here. I, I was uh, pretty scared up here on the balcony, but now it's over and we're gonna go over to an even more scary movie, I'm afraid. And uh, But it was really nice here out in the balcony and now you can see it has turned to a bit more uh, darker times right here. So now time for to find a place for the next movie. Oh my god, would you look at this, this is, I'm so proud of this. With iced tea, some popcorn, and some uh, cookies that you can dip in this milk. And then I got some candles right here to set the mood. This is the tomato that I found. And this is John Carpenter's Halloween. This is like the best way to watch a movie ever. I'm, I'm being refreshed at the same time. And I can eat fucking cookies. This is perfect for me. Okay, this guy in Halloween is a total stalker and it's <laughs> it's not nice. Now someone is knocking on our door. This is true. They are having a land party upstairs, so hopefully it's someone. Okay, I, th I think it was someone from of my uh, little brothers there having a LAN party, so... 
my pulse is pretty high right now. Well, let's continue watching Halloween. <laughs> I'm getting really sick of this music because it's scary every time. God. And you can see everything from his point of view, so you know that he is there somewhere, always. Okay, so that was the end of... <coughs> Halloween and I don't think it's okay to end the movie this way. It, it's, it's not it's not an okay ending to a movie, really. But uh, we're gonna jump right into the next one. Okay, so for this next movie that we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna hop hop right onto this exercise bike and and watch it from there. So it's gonna be. So we're burning those calories that we ate when when we watched the other movie with the cookies and everything like this. 15, 15 miles an hour, kilometers, kilometers per hour. Now starts the movie also. Friday the 13th movie. And I'm getting really pumped up out here in the, in the exercise bike. I don't work out that much, but sometimes I, I, I do. It makes me feel really powerful. And, and uh, well, right off the bat, we got some bad acting here and bad script. And uh, but I guess it's gonna be a lot of slasher fun. And well, it's it's a classic horror movie, so I'll sit through it. Well, I actually didn't know this, but we got one of the big time greats. I don't, with an early performance right here, it's Kevin Bacon, one of the all-time great actors of the uh, of all time, and he he makes one of his maybe first appearances in this movie. I really hope that he doesn't die, because all the other characters are terrible. He died. But just before he died, he, he he got down with a really beautiful woman, and that's that's just like my bro Bacon always does. This he, he's a player, this this Bacon guy. Yeah, well, that was a pretty stupid movie. Uh, but that last scare there in the end, it really scared me. I wasn't expecting that one. So well done, well done with. With the last scare, with the last, the, the rest of the movie, shit. It's really late now, but I think we're gonna do one more movie at least. Well, now it's time for my bed uh, bedtime story movie. It's gonna be nothing other than a Nightmare on Elm Street. And this is where I'm gonna see it with my bear, big bear, and uh, on this bigger screen now. Nightmare on Elm Street. Getting, getting real cozy, cozy in here with my bear. Fuck yes. I didn't remember this, but this is one of Johnny Depp's first movies. One of the all-time greats. Look at that. Johnny Depp. Prime time. This is actually Johnny Depp now. So he died. Obviously. This is sort of like his career these last few years. And that's my reaction to his career. Okay, so that was the end of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, and uh, now it's quarter past six in the morning, and I think I might get some sleep now. But it's been uh, great to see these movies with you guys, 
and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like my likes and follow me on Facebook and Twitter and everything everything like this um, yes and I hope that I don't meet Freddy Krueger in my dreams and everyone who has seen these uh, Elm Street movies know what I'm talking about now okay but stay cool just like Axel Cool Show